Hello friends, in this video we can see about for loop and auto indexing. So first do a right click on the block diagram screen. Here from structure I am selecting a for loop and dragging and placing it on the block diagram screen. In this for loop the left side top n symbol indicate the number of loops. So to this n terminal we have to give the number of times this loop has to be executed. This number can be given with the help of a constant or a numeric control. So to this number of loops terminal, I am connecting a numeric constant and giving 10 in it. To view this number on the front panel, we can also connect an indicator to the end terminal. I am making this indicator as icon and naming it as number of loops. And in this for loop, the i symbol on the lower left hand side indicates the number of iteration. Since on the end terminal, we have given 10. The number of iteration will be from 0 to 9. I am connecting an indicator to this terminal to view the number of iteration. As the loop starts executing, the number of iterations on this indicator starts increasing from 0 to 9. I am making this indicator as an icon and then I am naming this indicator as number of iteration. And again I am doing a right click on this block diagram screen. From this functions palette, under numeric, I am selecting a random number generator 0 to 1 and placing it on the block diagram screen inside this for loop. Next to the output terminal of the random number generator, I am connecting an indicator to view the numbers which will be randomly generated on each iteration. I am making this indicator as an icon by doing a right click on it and selecting view as icon. And now I am running this program. So on the random number generator indicator 0 to 1 placed on the front panel we can see the numbers that are randomly generated on each iteration. Since we have given 10 on the number of loops terminal this loop will get executed 10 times. And so on the number of loop indicator the number increases from 1 to 10. And also on the number of iteration indicator, the number increases from 0 to 9. This execution stops once the loop gets executed 10 times. So next we can see about auto indexing. For that I am connecting the output terminal of the random number generator to the right side end of the for loop. So here a tunnel get created. This tunnel is called auto index tunnel. Next we have to select the mode of this tunnel. So we have to do a right click on this tunnel and under tunnel mode we have to select indexing. Here already indexing has been selected. So we can leave it as it is. Then I am again doing a right click on this tunnel and I am connecting an indicator to it. This indicator will not be like a normal indicator. It will be an array indicator. So in this array indicator, the values which will be generated on each iteration will be stored. To view all the values generated by the random number generator, we have to expand this array indicator which is placed on the front panel. So I am expanding this indicator to view all the 10 values which will be generated by the random number generator. Now I am running this program. So now we can see all the values generated by the random number generator on this array indicator placed on the front panel. Next let us see about conditional for loop which means the for loop execution gets stopped once the condition gets satisfied. First on the stop button of the for loop we have to do a right click and select stop if true. That is if the condition given to this stop button is true. The loop execution should stop. Then to give condition to the stop button, first we have to select a greater than or equal to function from the functions palette and place it inside this for loop. After placing it to one of its input terminal, I am connecting the output from the random number generator and to its other input terminal, I am connecting a constant and giving a value 0.5 in it. That is, when the number generated by the random number generator is greater than or equal to 0.5, then the loop execution will get stopped. So now I am executing this program. 
the numbers will be getting generated during each iteration so when the value generated by this random number generator is greater than or equal to 0.5 this execution will be getting stopped and if i execute it again the same thing will happen again and again next i am doing a right click on this tunnel here i am changing the tunnel mode from indexing to last value now the array indicator connected to this tunnel will get disconnected so we have to again connect another indicator so i am doing a right click on this tunnel then under create if i select indicator an indicator suitable for this terminal will be getting connected so when we execute this program the last value that is the value greater than or equal to 0.5 at which the loop execution getting stop will be indicated in this indicator so now i am executing this program so in this indicator we can see the last value at which the loop execution is getting stopped now i am clicking on highlight execution and again i am running this program now we can see the data flow in this program and the last value at which the loop execution is getting stopped so in this video we have seen about for loop conditional for loop and auto indexing in our next video we can continue with another topic thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you